mission-oriented research is fundamental research which begins with the problem that needs to be solved and where you don't know how to solve it. So it, there are two different kinds of fundamental research. One is uh, seeking knowledge for its own sake, which is extremely important. The other is seeking knowledge to solve a problem that we don't know how to solve and that is important. So mission-oriented seismic research is fundamental seismic research that it's addressing a problem in the petroleum industry in seismic exploration that if you could solve it would make a significant positive impact on their ability to locate and produce hydrocarbon. The Mission Oriented Seismic Research Program has 20 petroleum industry uh, sponsors and uh, they uh, pay a fee, an annual fee, roughly 50000 per company per year and uh, they, uh, we identify problems with, uh, in consultation with them, but not talking to their researchers necessarily, but talking to the people in their operating units who know what the real problems are. And uh, then we uh, make a plan of uh, proposed problems that uh, if we could solve them would make a difference. And we communicate that list of problems to the sponsors and see uh, how they feel about that list, if the, we have some kind of consensus that those problems matter and are significant, relevant, and that they're not solved now, and no one sees a way to solve them now, then we uh, pursue, we make that problem a project within the program, and we have our faculty and students address it. Sometimes these problems take 10 years or more for one, solve, one problem. Uh, one student will not be required to solve it but to make some progress towards that solution. These problems are difficult, they're challenging, and uh, it's real science. What I like about this is you have a, a sponsor group, the petroleum industry, that are very knowledgeable about their issues. Uh, the, you don't have to explain to them what uh, seismic is about, what oil finding, and why they want to make money. If you can help them towards their goal, which we understand and appreciate, they will support you. It's a clear uh, communication. And if you gain their trust and confidence over, year, over years that you are capable of doing that, they'll wait. They'll wait for longer time uh, for delivery than they often will for other places which have shorter delivery and different kinds of problems that they address. One of the problems in seismic exploration is that uh, an energy source, a man-made energy source is created which sends a wave down to the earth. It reflects off boundaries and comes back. And they try to interrogate that uh, data, returning data, to determine where and how much hydrocarbon might be at some location. One of the issues is that the wave does not go straight down and back. It will reverberate. And if we assume everything is down and back, then anything which reverberates will be misinterpreted as this. And that is called multiples, multiple scattering, multiple reflection. And the removal of those uh, types of events is a high priority for the industry and has become more significant. We have provided the most capable methods in the world, recognized by our sponsors, for addressing that issue, to remove this without damaging this. Okay. That's what has made us uh, well known, respected, and trusted to work on other methods. Uh, what we uh, separate ourselves is we are able to s distinguish this from this without needing to know anything about the Earth. And that matters because they're going to ever more complicated uh, exploration areas in the deep water and onshore where the kind of information that you need uh, about the earth is unavailable. So in other words, they just don't have that uh, information. So you need to be able to develop methods that don't require uh, information about the subsurface. Uh, all the students in our program are PhD students. We have no undergraduates or even master students. They're all uh, 
set up to solve problems. And uh, we produce problem solvers. The problem that they work on is incidental. We, uh, we train our students, how do you identify a problem? Wherever, not just seismic. How do you identify a problem? And then how do you go about solving a problem that has not been solved? That's a, um, a property. That's a characteristic. That's a strength that a student from our program will have that's transferable. It doesn't have to just be seismic. But our students are sought after by our sponsors because they are problem solvers and for research positions. Sometimes they move to operating unit positions. But they have no problem finding employment. Uh, they have a problem of choosing among options, okay? which is a good problem to have. And our students have won awards. Uh, the, uh, there's a society called the Society of Exploration Geophysicists that every year gives some two or three awards for the best uh, young scientists in the world. Our students have won seven in the last 10 years. And the first ever from U of H. Diversity, I, um, I believe in uh, quality and capability. I believe in going to the barricades to support anyone who's denied an opportunity because of race, religion, sexual orientation, and so on. Uh, I wouldn't choose someone bef because of a diversity uh, issue, but I would fight for uh, anyone who is denied, vigorously fight and defend uh, those who are in any way hinted at being denied an opportunity because of some person's lack of comfort with who they are. But uh, um, so I'm, uh, I think the physics department is looking for diversity, as the university is. In our program, we uh, look for uh, quality, capable people, effectiveness from wherever. I have a lot of respect for the petroleum industry, and that's a rare, uh, a rare message, a rare message in the United States, a uh, rare message at the university. The uh, university seems to like the money, but there's sort of a skepticism about industry, and the petroleum industry in particular has been the kick boy, uh, unique to this country. You go to Brazil, Petrobras, everyone's proud of. You go to Norway, stat oil, everyone's proud to work. Here, they're always on the defensive that's somehow not working in the national interest. Uh, I'd like to communicate that uh, it's essential for our well-being, energy and security-wise, that we have a healthy petroleum industry. And it's about time that we recognize the value that they uh, provide to this country. And I, am, I have huge respect for the petroleum industry because they give us a chance. They give us a chance to do research. They don't count papers. They, uh, they look for what you actually deliver. That's all. They, once a year, they come, the whole group from all over the world, these petroleum uh, uh, sponsors. And for two, three days, they scrutinize what we do. Every student is asked to speak. They get money from them. They want to know what you did. That's all they want to know. And then they have opportunities, if they're doing well, as interns and employment. So um, I think we could use uh, a bit of um, better communication okay, in terms of uh, political, um, national uh, um, security issues and understanding the value uh, that our, our petroleum industry in particular plays to our well-being.